Hey everyone, it's Cole from A Plus Power Sports. Today I'm going to answer one of the most uh, frequently asked questions we get here at the dealership, and that is what does Polaris' touring model actually look like? So we're going to dig into this a little bit. They have a very versatile touring. This is an all-out rocket of a sled um, without the touring pack on it, even with it if you need it to be. But um, as soon as we slap the touring pack on here, it comes into a very luxurious, comfortable touring. Let's take a look at it. Polaris gives you the capabilities of turning pretty much any of their trail sleds into a true touring. Um, but my favorite one is definitely going to be the um, Switchback XC version. So we get a little bit softer QS3 Fox shocks on here. But the 146 with the tipped rails is a, an awesome touring sled. The reason being, if we went with a 129, yes, it'll handle it if we have a smaller passenger. But two full-size adults can actually ride on the back of the Matrix 146. Reason being, um, with a little bit longer tunnel, longer track, and just longer footprint on the sled, um, it gives us more stability through the corners. Um, the sled does not feel as tippy, and we're not going to get that wheelie effect when we have weight added behind the driver. Um, so that's why I pick the 146. Now tracks, you guys can do whatever you need to with them, but it's not gonna make a difference for touring. In my opinion, if you wanted it, a 1.35 is going to be uh, the best track for most trail riders. That's really all we need around here in Wisconsin. Um, and it keeps it a nice tight, low lug pattern. So it makes it a great trail sled. Looking at the front of the sled here, First thing I'm going to want to add is a little bit taller windshield. We're not really riding aggressive when we have a second person on the back with us. So a little bit taller of a windshield here keeps the wind up and away from us. We don't have to have hand guards with this windshield. It has nice big wind deflectors on the side. This one we chose the adjustable windshield. So this is in the tall setting right now. We can move the lever here and push it all the way down if we do want um, to bring a little bit more airflow into us. Um, you bring this windshield down and it slides um, about halfway down here and gives you a lot more airflow. Let's take a look at the back seat and what it entails to make it a touring. This is for demonstration purposes only, so the plug-in normally would be drilled and set into the back of the storage box here. And this is how we get power to the rear seat. So we have a heated seat um, and heated hand grips for the passenger. These two little locks right here quickly and easily remove them if you need to. Um, but Polaris has a nice little T-channel here that ha has all of our accessories lock into it. We have two little mounting points where um, the ears actually pop underneath the seat and that holds the passenger seat on tight. So let's see how it works. So to make this into a touring sled, we just take the passenger seat, get the front dog ears locked in, and it's clipped in and it's not going anywhere. Uh, we would take our plug-in in the rear to get power and plug it in in the back. And now that is feeding power when the sled is running to run our high and low and off heated hand warmers, um, as well as our passenger's rear heated seat. You have a low and high mode on there as well as an RCA cable. So if we're running a um, heated shield for the passengers, you can easily just plug it in in the back. You don't have to deal with fogging. So with the rear seat being installed, um, yes, we have power and heat going to everywhere for the passenger to keep them warm and comfortable, but we're also going to get this hand guard that is integrated right into the rear seat. So keeping the wind deflected away from them, and if we're going through tight trails with three branches, different things like that, it's not actually hitting the hands of the passenger. Tons of room for the driver to stay here. You actually are moved pretty far forward on the Matrix chassis, so the, the driver of the snowmobile really is not going to be interfering with the passenger back here. If we have a passenger with longer legs, we do not need to have the little footstools right here, but if we are dealing with a younger child or a shorter passenger, we can install the Polaris um, foot stands right there. They don't interfere with the driver at all, but gives that passenger just a little bit of a foot rest so they can actually push themselves back into the seat when they're going over um, rough bumps and terrain like that. Tons of room for two people to ride back here. Also, another great thing about the 146 Matrix chassis is this rear tunnel storage. So yes, being a longer track, getting a longer tunnel on there. There's a couple of accessories. So you can add storage bags to the rear. There's under seat storage bags. So if this is a true full-time touring model, you have plenty of storage options. But if you guys are going riding and you're like, you know what, I'm not having a second passenger on there, there's no tools needed. You just pop it off off the back here unplug the plug-in and you're back to an aggressive trail sled. And you can even take it off trail because you have the 146. So, yeah, we can put this on any of the trail sleds, 129, 137, and 146, but I like this chassis the most just for its versatility. 
All right, that's a quick look at a Polaris uh, touring setup on here and gave you guys a little bit of feedback why I like the Matrix 146 Switchback XC chassis so much when we we're looking into a touring model. But if you guys have questions on what you need to make this happen, different options, or just what my opinion is on anything, or any questions during the video, leave a comment in the section below. If you wanna see it, um, feel it, touch it, come into A Plus Power Sports. You can sit on this one and see what it's all about in person. If you wanna see what I have in stock right now, you can currently check out aplusride.com and we have a full list of our in stock models. And if you guys liked the video, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.